Well, welcome to the 23rd annual UT Band Books Week Vigil. And we call it a vigil because the fight for the First Amendment isn't ever over. And so we must remain watchful. We think that it's the very best day of the whole year. We just love bringing together people who can tell us about all sorts of issues involving censorship and freedom of expression. It's also a day for just thinking about the profound joy that reading brings to our lives. Not everyone in the world is even educated enough to be able to read, although reading should be part of our human rights. And so as we start our first, as we started our first day and as we end our last day, go, go books. Go, go books. <laughs> give every book a chance. And I would like to acknowledge the committee who helped. We worked really hard to get all these platforms up and running and Arjun Saberhal has put in many, many hours on editing and making sure that our videos are working. And Ali Imami has also done just tremendous work for us in keeping all of our networks going. He's our network man. I'm not quite sure I know what that means, but we have one, which is probably a very good thing. I would also like to thank Sumitra Srinivasan, and she's done all kinds of stuff to help, including some tech stuff. And then one of my former students, Laura Mitchell, who has been with us quite a while and she also has helped in lots of different ways. And Sadia Farooq and she's here from Pakistan with her husband who is finishing a medical degree at UT and when I first met her in 2013 she took my ethics class, was able to publish some of the papers she wrote for me in ethics class, so she's a sharp cookie, and she's been just lots of help to us. We are so very lucky to have these people. And we have another one, Josie Schreiber, but she's taking care of her children. They all, they're under three years old, so in a year or two, she'll be back when they're a little bit bigger. But I wanted to before we did anything else, express thank you. And then we have Monji Sola Tiamiu, Dr. Tiamiu from psychology. She is my dear friend and every year she takes around the attendance book and makes sure people sign so we know how many were there. She's a great supporter. She also buys books for us to give away. So, ra ra Monji! <laughs> and this, on our very last day of presenting, I would again say that the fight for the First Amendment is never over, and I'm just delighted that you are here with us so we can learn some ways to keep our rights, and we can learn about some issues in censorship that maybe we weren't aware of before. And so, without further ado, I'm going to introduce our first speaker. Now, Dr. Say Sayed Anjad Hussein is a legend in our town. He's both a medical doctor and a professor of humanities. He has numerous degrees. He's contributed in all kinds of ways to our community. He speaks frequently in the area. He's very well published, and we are extremely happy to be able to present his comments. 
we sent him to the studio and had it recorded because he felt that that would be his best bet for doing this kind of a talk. And so I want to thank John Idemeyer for his work too in making that, this video we're going to watch in the moment possible. So uh, I don't see Dr. Hussein in the Zoom room yet. When the talk starts, I will email him and remind him we'd like him to pop in so we can ask him some questions.